So I have a prophetic message from the Holy Spirit to share with you that I believe applies directly to the 2022 United States midterm elections. So I want to share three other videos with you really quick that have to do with this election season specifically. The first one's called God Told Me This About the 2022 U.S. Election Season. The second one is God Told Me This About Trump and 2022 slash 2024 elections. And the third one is Are We Seeing Prophecy Fulfilled? Trump and the Banana Republic Debate. If you want some more clarity over what I'm sharing here, especially in regards with the imagery that God is using, please go watch a few of those videos specifically the one about the Banana Republic debate. In that video, I show a prophetic follow-up that the things I was sharing involving, you know, Trump specifically and bananas, this, this crazy imagery that God was using, actually, I believe was fulfilled. And I show the results of that in that video. So I'm about to share several different things that you may need some clarity on. And so I encourage you, number one, to go watch those videos for some context for some of this imagery. And then number two, just to take this to the Holy Spirit in prayer and say, Lord, what do you want me to take away from this? And that's such a good question to ask. And we should always be asking that about prophecy. Uh, whether that's prophecy that's shared with us specifically from someone else or prophecy that's shared online, we always need to run it by, number one, the Word of God, and make sure it aligns theologically. And then number two, we need to ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, number one, is this from you? But number two, how does this apply to me specifically? And I believe the Lord will give us more clarity as we seek Him about that. Y'all, and I, I'm just feeling the presence of God right now, so I'm really excited about what I'm about to share. So I'm going to pray, and then I'm going to share this. Holy Spirit, I just invite your presence in. I ask that you give me the words to say, that you would help every person listening to hear from you, Lord, not from me, Jesus, but from you, that you would speak clearly to their hearts, to my heart as well, and that you would get all of the honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so this is what I saw, y'all. This was actually on October 28th, so just a few days before I'm filming this. I saw a vision of a stack of many bananas, very similar to these other visions I saw before that I believe have been fulfilled, and we've seen that. These many banana bunches, they were wrapped in this like transport plastic wrap as if they were you know, being shipped to stores. And then I saw United States dollars, and this was very vivid imagery that I was seeing in this vision from the Lord. And then this is what I heard. I heard this phrase, a triple threat. And then I heard, this is going to occur over the next few weeks. And so I just heard this a few days ago. And then I heard a jostle to the U.S. economy that people were not expecting. Instability left over from the establishment being rocked over the course of 2020 and 2021. And then I heard the Banana Republic in motion. And so I looked up this word jostle. It actually means like a push, an elbow, or like to bump against someone roughly and typically is something that happens in a crowded area. I also looked up this idea of a triple threat and that can reference sports, you know, someone that's really good at three different areas of a certain sport. Like I used to play basketball and the coaches would say, this is the triple threat position where you can pass the ball, you can shoot the ball or you can dribble the ball. You know, any any of those things you can do it as soon as you need to be able to. And I believe in this case the triple threat actually is referring to the warning of this this jostling, right? So this is not necessarily saying the US is in a triple threat position, but rather this thing that's about to happen is going to hit in three different spaces or three different areas. This is the next thing I heard. A month and a half from now you will see the full effects. And then I heard a dark horse situation. And then I heard this phrase, this is about to happen. So that phrase, a dark horse, refers to uh, like in, in, in a racing setting, a horse that nobody was expecting suddenly like emerges and, and comes forth to, to win. And I believe that this dark horse situation is referring to something that's specifically happening during these midterm elections. And I believe we're going to see some of this other stuff coming out uh, in different ways after that. So I prayed about this, y'all, and I said, Lord, today, what do you want me to share, you know, based on this? Because a lot of times God will give me a prophetic word of encouragement or teaching to go, to go along with, you know, a word of knowledge that he's giving me. And sometimes, yes, I admit the words of knowledge that God gives me are a little vague. Other times they're very specific, you know, but I just, I take what I hear and I share it as the Lord leads. That's what I'm trying to do here. But this is what God gave me when I prayed about this word I was literally in, in my office kneeling before the Lord and just praying. He said, stand up and go outside. And so I stood up, I walked outside, and this is what I heard the Lord say. 
He said, I want you to resolve, and this is not just speaking to me, y'all. This is, this is speaking to us as the body of Christ now during this season. I heard the Lord say, I want you to resolve to say and do what is right this election season. Don't say what you want to say. Say what I give you to say. Open yourself up to the love of a father who longs to draw all his children in and to the compassion of a savior who draws all men unto himself. So y'all, I'm going to wait upon the Lord and I'm just going to pray. And this is what I'm going to ask for. I'm just going to ask for the Lord to give me, to give us as his body, his heart for the next few weeks, for this next few months. I'm asking for the Lord to give me his compassion. And I encourage you to ask for the same thing so that we are able to stand up for what's right and and to speak the truth, but also to stand up in the love of Jesus and to speak the truth in love. Holy Spirit, I just ask that you would change my heart right now. Lord, that the things that I want to do and the things I want to say would not be on the forefront. But I ask that you would help me to put those things on the back burner so that I can do and say the things you're leading me to do and say. Lord, I give my rights over to you. I put vengeance and revenge and justice into your hands. Lord, when when people strike me on one cheek, help me to turn the other, God. Holy Spirit, as you're leading, when people falsely accuse me of all sorts of things, Lord, help me to simply rejoice. Because that's what you said to do, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just encourage y'all to open yourself up to what the Holy Spirit is saying right now. I just feel the presence of God here. I know he's speaking specific things. You know that I, I can't speak specifically to everyone, but the Holy Spirit wants to, and he's so much better at it. <laughs> it's so much better just to hear God for yourself, to hear him specifically, because it, then it's not filtered through what someone else is, is thinking or doing in that season or their experience with the Lord or anything like that. He just He knows exactly where you are. And I, I hear that from the Lord right now. I hear him saying, I know exactly where you are. I know exactly what you've been through. I know exactly what they've done to you. I know exactly what they've said about you. But I'm right here to give you clarity, clarification, to give you the words and the wisdom you need to move forward in this season in the joy of the Lord, not frustration, and with the faith of Jesus, not the fear of the world. I, y'all, I just feel the Holy Spirit on that, and that is, that is just so awesome. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence. Lord, thank you for your power at work, God, to change my heart, to change our hearts. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, I ask that you would put the right people in place this season, Lord, that you would help the right results to come from this election, Lord, this midterm election. God, I just ask for your kingdom to come, your will to be done, and that any part you want us to play, Lord, as your people, that we would be led by you, not by our emotions, not by our fears, not by anger, but we would be led by you, Holy Spirit, to take the right steps at the right time. Lord, I just ask that you would write your laws upon our hearts, God, even above the, the, the laws that this world operates under, God. I ask that you would write your laws upon our hearts, Holy Spirit. That we would just be willing to give everything we have over to you, God, even our comforts, as we're led by you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Y'all, I just, I hear the Lord saying this, that he has a glorious journey for each one of his saints. 
to, to walk down, to, to be on in this life, that this should be a glorious journey. But that only happens, that, that place of you know, satisfaction and in, in that place of fulfillment, that place of joy, it only happens when we're walking with him personally. So here's the encouragement I want to leave you with, is that you would get into one of the gospel books this week, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, and that you would see the example that we have in Jesus and the way that he interacted with uh, the people in his life. You know, even, even people like uh, the, the Pharisees, Sadducees, but then even like Rome itself. I know that none of us are going to do this perfectly because Jesus was perfect, right? But as we are led by the Holy Spirit and as we embrace the grace of God today and in this season, I believe God can change us and make us look more like Jesus, which is just an amazing place to be. So I hope this has been encouraging. Uh, I hope this has meant something to you. Um, Please go check out a couple things. Number one, obviously the video links below, but number two, I'm hosting an online prophetic conference. End of this year, it's the beginning of December, and you can find out more information about that at godsheartconference.com. Com. I did it last year as well, and you can actually go watch last year's conference. This year's is going to look a little different, and if you want to find out those details and, and find out the schedule and as the speakers are being announced, that kind of stuff, if you want to keep up with it, go check out godsheartconference.com. I love you all so much, and I'll see you next time.